Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is episode number 44 and today I have another free games for you with St. Johnston as we take on Burnley at McDermott Park, Swansea at the Liberty and also Arsenal at McDermott Park as well. All in the Premier League as we aim to keep our very good start to the season alive. As you can see right now, we are sitting in sixth place with 14 points from our first eight games and we've won half our games, all of which coming away from home. So it's been a great start for St. Johnston, at least away from home, and hopefully today we'll get three big results. And of course, there's another youth squad for reporting today's episode as well, so you can see how the Academy boys are getting on. And we're going to dive straight into the first game, which is at home against Sean Deitch's Burnley team. So come on, St. Johnston, a big game to start off with. Sixth versus seventh here in Scotland. Can we get the win? Let's hope so. Come on, the St. E's. Force free kick is long and Sutar's header goes up in the air. Could have gone anywhere, but Barry casually controls and finds Callum Patterson and will get the danger clear as Patterson goes down the right and finds the rapid Oliver Burke. And look at the room for Burke to gallop in here and away. So no one's going to catch him. Burke is running through one on one and Tom Heaton makes an incredible save. And then Macca's follow up header is well caught by Heaton, recovering well, still nil nil. What an opportunity. Burke with two and two couldn't take advantage. Barry with the tackle, well done, and Tierney keeps it in play, through towards Shane Gray, Gray back to our left back, down the left, good cross to the middle, looking for Macker or Tony Watt, and Macker's uh, header is saved, but there is Burke, following up the rebound, and Oliver Burke continues his sensational start to the season, it's three goals in three games for our rapid right winger, and we go in front at home for the first time this season, get in! Great cross by Kieran Tierney for the left. Macca's header was well stopped by Tom Heaton, but Oliver Burke on it like a flash, follows in the rebound, puts it in, and our number seven gets goal number three for the year already. St. Johnston won, Burnley nil. Come on, the boys from Perth. And I'm just realising as well, what I just said there was wrong. I got my episodes messed up. The last episode was the one with the two qualifiers, and our victory away at Selhurst Park against Palace. The episode before that was the games against Everton and Spurs. It didn't really matter, of course, but uh, sorry about that. That was my fault for being stupid. And uh, yeah, as Patterson gets on the ball and finds Tony Watt, he's running through here. That doesn't matter because Watt is one-on-one, -on -one, and Heaton makes another extraordinary save. Watt looking for his second goal of the season. Tom Heaton with a big save, still 1-0. Forget about what I said in the past episodes. Just play the game. Come on. Throw to St. Johnston, three minutes after the restart. What a fantastic first half. Can we start the second half off very well? Hamilton's crossed the centre, looks for Macca, and he was there to possibly head in, and season one Macca would have finished that chance. This time Stevie Boy can't keep it down, still 1-0, but what a sensational game we've had so far. We need a second goal, though, to get some breathing room. It's the four inside towards Ben Mee, finding his man, a great chance for Burnley to respond off the post, and Rob Hamilton gets it clear. So, so unlucky for Burnley to find that late equalising goal but we escape and we still lead by one. Davidson to Rob Hamilton and Hamilton through towards Macca and a chance here to secure the point and it's Stevie Boy running through, holds it up, looks for Tony Watt going through, fakes the goalkeeper and puts it in to the bottom corner as casually as you like. Tony Watt's second goal of the season to wrap the points up. Our first win in Scotland, St Johnston 2, Burnley nil. come on. One. Unselfish play from Macca gives it to Tony Watt running through one on one. And how about that for composure? A little fake shot dummy to put Tom Heaton off and then strokes it into the bottom corner. What secures the point? St Johnston 2, Burnley nil. Come on! What an absolutely fantastic game. This was action packed, tons of chances. Burnley hitting the woodwork so close to the final whistle. That goal would have leveled things, but instead, we got up the other end. Tony Watt wraps the points up, courtesy as Macca's selfless play. 2 0 to the Saints. Our first home win. It's five wins from nine. What a start! Burnley didn't play too badly, but I felt we were the strongest team. Deserved the three points. Burke getting another goal is third already. And what second of the season, wrapping the points up. Our first home win. This is fantastic. You know, the first season we had so many fitness problems. Second season was the season of injuries. And obviously, we didn't play too well for a lot of our games. But now, in season three, we started off so well and are in fifth place already with 17 points from our first nine games. It's been an incredible start. Let's keep this up. And you know who Burnley could have used with in that game to get them the goal they needed? Someone like Robert Snodgrass. I'm sure he'd be a great addition to Sean Dyche's side. 
Oh, poor Rod Holder. Surely going down now, aren't they? But anyway, a look at the academy before the second game of today's episode. You can see how the players are currently getting on. Uh, Ian Scott not looking the best, but uh, Kirk Taylor looks all right at uh, the left back here. A187 potential, 60 overall. We're going to give him a contract straight away and see what he looks like today, as I think he could be a pretty decent signing for the same T. So we'll give him that deal, take out the five quicks. It's, it's quite important to someone like St. Johnston. Uh, John Hamilton, not the best. Uh, Dave McKenzie, not the best. I might just release him, actually, may as well. We've got some good CMs here anyway. Uh, Oliver Wilson, potentially, is good overall. He's terrible. Dougie Reed, of course, is the main geezer. We really want this guy in McDermott Park right now. But he doesn't want to come and play for us just yet. He's still contemplating his future. Don't, don't do a runner on me, Dougie. We need your son, seriously. Uh, Alistair Graham, though. Look at that potential. Looking very, very decent indeed. And the overall is not terrible. So we'll keep a close eye on Alistair Graham. Uh, Ewan Graham, as well. Very, very good. But he's a goalkeeper. We've already got three in the team right now, so we may as well leave him in the academy, and he's 15 years old too. Uh, Dougie McLean has some decent potential. So does Shane Nicholson, another goalkeeper there. Uh, Rob Drummond, not the best. Same with Malcolm Anderson. And Reese Anderson to end with looks pretty decent. So there's the academy, and now let's move on to the squad report. Man, I am just absolutely buzzing right now. You know, I really am. What a huge win against Burnley. Our first home win of the season. And I did ask the question a couple episodes ago, I think, you know, where do you think we can finish this season? Europa League is not beyond the realms of possibility. Like, it is definitely something we could do, even though this team has not got much better than last year. In fact, it's pretty much the exact same in terms of ability as last year. Maybe a tiny bit stronger, but I think with the start we've made, especially away from home once again, and now winning at home to the first home victory of the season, there's no reason why we couldn't finish in the top seven. I want a top half finish this year, and top seven is going to be very, very tough indeed, but it is a possibility. And I certainly wouldn't say no to this finish in the table when it's all said and done. Nine games into the season and St. Johnson sit in fifth place with five wins from the first nine games. 17 points as well. Scoring goals is still a problem. Only eight so far, but we're looking good defensively and we've had a great start in general sitting in fifth place right now. So a brilliant start for the Saints. Let's keep this up and get another two big wins today. And the first of our final two games today is going to be away in Wales to take on the other non-English side in the Premier League, Swansea City. They right now sit in sixth place. So like us, a bit of a surprise package to begin the Premier League off and have started off quite well and one of the informed teams to look out for. So another important battle here. Can we win in Wales? This fixture was my first ever Premier League game with St. Johnston last season, the season opener. And we won it, I do believe, by three goals to one. So I'll take that scoreline again if we can get it. Let's hope so. Come on to St. T's, let's get another big three points here. Free kick to us here, 35 yards out, 15 minutes into the game. Duncan Smith is going to take this one. Not the best of stats, but no one else has any better. So Smith will go for goal. Why not? It's our number four. It's not a bad effort. And it's off the post from Duncan Smith. So close to his first goal for the club. And what a goal it would have been. And he's throw down the line to Rob Hamilton here. Good first touch and tries to beat Carl Norton and does. Great work from Rob Hamilton inside the area with the fake shot. Rolls across towards Chris Kane who fires it wide at the post. What a chance. I put him back in the team for Maka. Maybe I should have gone with experience. Great chance there. Stevie Boy surely would have finished that. Kane blazes it way wide. The evolution of this St. Johnston team is one of the most interesting things about the series as we continue to try and make progression year after year. There hasn't been that much of a step up between Season 2 and Season 3 for quality, but on the pitch we're playing much better and looking much stronger. As we come towards the close of the game here, there may be a chance for us to win the game as Burke sends Shane Gray through here and Gray has one man to beat and does beat him as well and puts the ball into the back of the net. Shane Gray has just come off the bench to short win us the game with 17 minutes to go. They're barely celebrating on the pitch, but I certainly am. This is going to be five wins from our six away games as the fantastic start of the season continues. Brilliant ball through to Shane Gray, who had Jordi Matt to beat. He took it round with a step over, slipped when shooting, but still found the bottom corner for his first professional goal. Shane Gray with the finish. And if you remember, he was the one that I thought had potential to be special. In the end, only shows great potential. But you know what? I don't mind about the future right now. I'm focused on the present as Gray fires in front. One Nilsson Johnston, come on! Late chance for Swansea to find an equalising goal. Great ball down the left towards De Jong, who keeps the ball in play. It's a good delivery, and Dos Santos, no! Barry! Barry! 
Why? No! Why? Why would you do that? Swansea won, St Johnston won. We're going to throw away two priceless points just like against Spurs. Barry! Barry, mate! What are you doing? I swear that header was going wide. Why would you do that? Why? Oh, for God's sake, Swansea Wands and Johnston won. Are you serious? I made you captain. The subs made you captain, I should say. Why would you do that? There was no need, bruv. Come on. Everyone gets one, you know, seriously, everyone's allowed to do one thing stupid in this series and Barry, that's fair enough, that's your first time doing something ridiculous and you started the season off well, but come on mate, seriously, you're lucky I don't send you back to the old people's home, that's ridiculous! We were the far superior side in my opinion, definitely deserved the three points, but Barry Hamilton, why would you do that? The header was going wide mate, seriously, put your bloody glasses on! I mean, at the end of the day, he's a rock at the back. You know, you guys don't see just how many shots he blocks during the game, how many big interceptions he makes. But, I mean, seriously, there was just no need for that. I mean, honestly, I am so, so frustrated. What a huge win that would have been. And of all players to throw it away for us, it was Barry Hamilton. But anyway, enough negativity. Let's take a look at Kirk Taylor's stats in the academy and see how good he looks then. Uh, where is he? Here he is. Uh, 60 overall, 16-year-old left back. A pretty decent understudy for Kieran Tierney, I'd say. And does he show potential? Yes, he does. Showing great potential. That's like the 15th player in this St. Johnston team that shows great potential. But anyway, he's got some decent starter stats. Physically nicely balanced for a 16-year-old. Low medium work rates can play centre-back too. Four-star skill moves as well, which is kind of interesting. And a two star weak foot so not too bad Kirk Taylor and uh, someone to look out for in the future all right, so we're moving into the third and final game of today's episode here, and it's another tricky one against a side that started the season off quite well, and one of the big teams in the Premier League. We're at home against Arsenal, and looking to make it two wins from two at McDermott Park, and extend the undefeated streak. So another big game for St. Johnston, and Barry, for goodness sake, if you're going to try and block a shot, don't do it when it's going wide in the post. Final game against Arsenal, come on St. Johnston, let's return to winning ways and get a massive victory here. I know this is going to be one of our biggest tests of the season, but I do feel quite confident coming into this game. I do feel as though we can get the three points in this one, despite what happened in stoppage time in the last game. As Burke sends Watt through here, and a great chance already with Tony Watt rolling it through towards Stevie Boy, who drills it into the bottom corner. That's the start you want, son. Maka with the finish, his first goal of the season. What a start to this game. Great ball by Oliver Burke to Tony Watt. He takes it round his man, rolls it through to Maka, and he said, mate, thanks for the goal against Burnley. You take this one against Arsenal. Stevie boy with a goal. What a start. Please don't retire, mate. We still love you. Free kick to us here, 33 yards out. Smith hit the post in the last game. Can he score a weldy from this one? It's Smith who goes for it. Not a bad effort. Oh, he's got in. He's got in. Duncan Smith has just scored one of the goals of the series. What a fantastic strike from our number four. I do apologize for blowing out your eardrums, but I'm going insane. What a goal. Duncan Smith has just scored the goal of the series. He hit the post in the last game against Swansea. But actually, do you know what? I'm taking that back. Petr Cech has got to do better than that. It's a good hit from our number four. It's his first goal for the club. But Petr Cech, he's got to do far better than that. When the ball went in there, I thought it might have gone behind and into the stands. And then back into the sort of like the back side of the net, if you will. That's why I was quite surprised. But Duncan Smith has scored an absolute weldy. What an extraordinary episode. It's 2-0 to St. Johnston at home to Arsenal. This is unbelievable. Come on, the lads from Perth. Cockerland for Arsenal turns his man. Shot comes in. It's 2-1. And Arsenal are back in the game. We need to be careful now. I can't throw away these three points like we did in the last game. Big goal there. Nice little turn by Cockerland, gets himself inside and goes for goal. Logan Reed is beaten. It's 2-1. Can we hang on, unlike against Swansea? Come on, the Saintees. 
Chance here later on for Arsenal. Wilshere's shot blocked by Barry, but a shot by Albany comes in. And I don't believe it. This time, Barry blocked the shot well, but it drops straight to the Arsenal defender. It was furthest forward and ensures that Arsenal will prevent us from getting our first big, cat, uh, big scalp of the series and prevent us from getting back-to-back -back wins at home for, I think, the first time since season one. St. Johnston 2, Arsenal 2. And we've thrown it away at home again. We can't keep doing this, man. Seriously, this is the third game this season where we've thrown away the three points from a winning position. We need to be much better than that if we are to qualify for the Europa League come the end of the season. But Patterson's cross is a good one. Looking for Maka, who heads it in. What a header from Stevie McLean. And forget what I was saying, because it's 3-2 to St. Johnston. And Maka's bagged the brace. This is the most extraordinary episode of the series. What a ball by Callum Patterson and Maka. Retiring at the end of the year shows there's still life in those old bones yet. You don't have to call it a day, bruv. St. Johnston 3, Arsenal 2. This has been quite extraordinary. Yo, listen up, here's a story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue like him inside and outside blue him. All right, we've all seen the video. We don't need to make it even cringier than it is. Still, St. Johnston 3, Arsenal 2. We get the win. Come on, the boys from Perth. It's back-to-back -back wins at home for the first time since season one, I do believe. Our first big scalper the series, taking out the Gooners. A massive result. The undefeated streak gets extended. What an unbelievable start to the season. Come on, St. Johnston! And that will end today's episode of Club and Country as well, guys. So a massive thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. Surely the best episode of the series so far. St. Johnson have won six of their first 11 games and sit in fourth place. An extraordinary start for the Saints. I mean, I don't know what to say. We're two points off top of the table. Liverpool right now. It's been an unbelievable beginning. Let's keep this up. But I'll see you for the next episode of Club and Country very soon. If you enjoyed this one, then please do leave a like. Much love to you all. Have a great evening. What a start for the Saints. And I'm not going to sing the rest of that song. That video was too cringy. I can't make it even worse.